Cyclone 18S, it's intensifying rather quickly now, but still hasn't received its name by the Bureau of Meteorology. Surprisingly, the next name is going to be Ilsa. Right now, it's positioned to the 13.8 degrees south and 121.7 degrees east. It's a tropical storm with winds of 60, 65 miles per hour, which is 105 kilometers per hour, 987 millibars, and moving to the southwest at 8 miles per hour, and latest at 10, at 10 a.m. local time Western Australia on April 11th. And about the wind field is not showing up, but still I'm going to tell you about it. Uh, the tropical storm force winds are extending 55 nautical miles to the northeastern quadrant of the storm, 75 nautical miles to the southeastern quadrant, 80 nautical miles to the southwestern quadrant, and 70 nautical miles to the northwestern quadrant currently on the storm, and it's expanding, of course, due due to its intensifi intensification sorry and still it's going to uh, it's still expected to be a compact storm but the wind field still is, uh, is expanding though is not reaching the the coastal parts of western australia which for now are good news and about the distances well uh, the storm is located at 315 kilometers to the north northwest of Cape Lebec, 435 kilometers to the north northwest of Derby, 445 kilometers to the north of Broome, 760 kilometers to the north northeast of Port Hetland, and 885 kilometers to the north northeast of Caratha. And there's also a tropical storm warning in effect from Cape Lebec to Broome, a tropical cyclone watch in effect from Broome to Western Australia and Port Hetland, and a flood watch in effect to well from West, Ki uh, West Kimberley Rivers, the Grey River and Sandy Desert. And about the different agencies ex uh, estimating the intensity of the storm, the Bureau of Meteorology, which is in Australia, is the most conservative one, indicating that it is a only 45 miles per hour sustained wind tropical storm. The Joint Typhoon Warning Center is saying that it is a 60 miles per hour sustained wind tropical storm, and our analysis in 413, we're, we believe that it is a 65 miles per hour sustained wind tropical storm. And of course, it, well, of course, there's a, those are the first signs of rapid intensification since it's expected to become a category 4 tropical cyclone on the Sapphire Simpson wind scale. Of course, it's not the category 5 that recently we were seeing before, but still, it's going to be a really intense tropical cyclone. And also, uh, the, the, the fast forward direction to the southeastern is going to be sharper and also more earlier than before so keep keep watch on the on the few on the on the further changes that may we can see on this tropical cyclone on the next hours and about the sea surface temperatures 31 32 degrees celsius on the on the current location of the storm which is a good indi indicator of why it's expected to intensify rather quickly and well the wind shear also is rather low so of course 18S has everything to be a significant tropical cyclone in the next hours. The total rainfall is expected to be between 8 to 12 inches on some parts of some parts of the Western Australia, mainly on the coastal lines uh, during the during the path of the storm, the rain bands and also storm surge, which is going to be a really main factor and threatening situation for the people who live there. And the wind is expected to remain compact, not extending that much, which is quite common to see on on that part on the we on that particular zone in Australia. These these cyclones aren't that big. But still, it's going to be a really intense, intense cyclone, and 135 knots or even more 
could be felt on the coast of Western Australia as soon as makes land, as soon as makes landfall. And as we can see, different models are predicting that it's going to be a major tropical cyclone, category three, category four, 130 knots, which is 150 miles per hour sustained winds at peak intensity, and then quickly, uh, quickly weakening as soon as makes landfall. The wind shear is going to remain low, quite marginal, increasing a little bit, but still not enough to weaken or to affect the storm during its path before making landfall. And of course, different models about its track, practically the same, moving to the south and then a sharp turn to the southeast. The sea surface temperatures remaining warm between 30 and 31 degrees Celsius. And also the humidity is going to remain high between 75-80% on the next hours at least. And you can see the different floaters and satellite animations we have in our 413 website brand new floaters so please have a look at them and enjoy everything that we added on the website that's all for now and see you on the next update